hello student i am ajishri i am going to teach you sst so the first chapter in history called how when and where so in your ncert book you know in the first picture you can see that the image tries to suggest that the indians willingly gave over their ancient text sastras to britannia the symbol of british power means they wanted to show that they are the protector of indian culture before this picture i just want to connect you from your uh, connect you to the previous classes like in class 6 you have heard about you have come to know about early man uh, those who were mostly they were hunter gatherers and then hunt after hunter gatherers the civilization came and then after civilization kingdoms and their rise and their fall likewise you have done in sixth class in seventh class you have come to know about dynasties empires mogal empires delhi sultan like lot of things but in class 8 here we are going to only know about the britishers and the colonization period so the colonization period is just in the history which we are going to know in our 8th standard so in this book you have seen the first picture and the picture where we indians are giving our ancient text to that is sastras to britannia means we are giving this to british so the first topic which i am going to highlight that is how important are dates there was a time when historians were fascinated with dates there there were debates they used to debate about dates on which rulers were crowned and the battles were fought you know what for me if you ask definitely i'll tell you my birthday very very confidently i can tell you but if you ask uh, somebody else birthday it it is not possible to tell their or to remember their birthday right so i believe that dates are very important and basically for the historians in previous time who used to debate that which king came to, uh, or which king uh, which king won the battles or lost the battles or they were crowned so it was very important uh, to know the dates no so that's why uh, for the historians they used to be fascinated with their dates next i'll tell you over the period of time history always change so history is about the changes and finding out how things were in the past and definitely how they have changed in the present so that before the gap between before to after you can see the gap that gap is just all about history let's take the example of aeroplane you know you have seen aeroplane previously aeroplane was used by only the elite group the privileged group those who were having a lot of money you know but now it's just comes uh, it's just comes true or it's like dreams come true that we common people also can uh, fly should be able to fly and it is like uh, the movie you have seen uran i guess so in that movie the it was uh, actually shown that now the common man also be able to fly so definitely that is what history talks about so from that perspective from that previous concept we took it and we now we are helping in the present situation and if you ask me why if you ask me in one word like what is history definitely i am going to tell you that the mistakes which were done in the past will not be repeated in the future for me that is history so definitely history is important for me and uh, next uh, people realize that the earlier history was written with the perspective of rulers definitely uh, previously history historians were so much conscious about only they wanted to write about the uh, rulers and their 
policies, their achievements like uh, kings and uh, uh, moguls like those things, right? So, uh, history books, it was like in the past, how it was like in the past and how it is in the present, which I am going to tell you right now. So, when king was crowned, when king got married, when they died, you have seen all this thing, you have seen definitely, you have, uh, have you read about uh, Mahabharata or Ramayana, the Ramayana, you can see everything was written about the Ram, he was also the king of uh, Ayodhya dynasty, right? So, now history books, they talk about the present thing, which is like, in the present time like how people earn their livelihood means and what they are producing how ideas and their cultures are spreading all over the world okay so i am going to take the name one britishers robert clive okay he asked renal james renal okay to produce the maps of india so, uh, why it was very, uh, you know, why it is uh, important or why it was very uh, enthusiastic, they were enthusiastic to produce or to see the maps of India. Because if you see a particular place, then only it will be easy to conquer the, those places, right? So, that was their clever mind that which they were actually using, understand? So, it was easy to conquer. So, how clever they were. Just think about it, Britishers, right? So now uh, I'm going to tell you uh, which dates that topic is written in your book. So I am just telling, I have given the name that is during colonial period. So, you know, previously, uh, just because of the British Indian, uh, in the British India, sorry, in the British India, Britishers, those who were writing the uh, history of the Britishers, uh, history was only written by the British historians. It only tells about the governor general. All the governor generals, right? And their policies, their achievements, so and so. But let me tell you one thing which is very important. Activities of different groups of Indian. The activity which you can see the different groups of Indian had no place in history. Means if you see the book and if you read the book, you will see only things were encouraged only for the Britishers, right? For the common people, there was no such place in British Indian history.